So if I have two or three more years like this, I won't be in the cattle business anymore. This year was the first year in the 30 years I've been there that I was worried about having enough water for cattle. You, you can't hold enough water anymore. Everything, everything evolves around water, everything. So, you know, we used to have the a rains for a week, you know, a week and a half. You get tired of it. Remember them, you know, they'd go for, you don't see that much anymore. And I'm just wondering if all the distribution of the water going different places now are going to change. I think that's changing it a lot more than anything else people talk about. Just like now they're tapping in, what, a 30-inch water line? And they're going to take it where? To Dallas. You know, a 30-inch water line that they're putting in, that's a large volume of water that you can push through that. That's a lot of water. You know, everybody talks about everything else they want to change, but water, I believe, will be the biggest con conservation problem in the end because there's more people. People are how much water? You know, there's places in the Red River now that you can just jump across. There's an association that says you will water in this much, you know, keep your grass looking like this. They don't want to hear that. But they'll restrict you from doing other things through your life, but they're not going to do that. They're not going to restrict their use of water to make their all their little hedges look good and their grass and everything else. You can only bottle so much water. You know, it's, it's, it's been like this for a while. So, I just keep thinking it'll change, come back, start raining, you know, and be wet for five years or whatever, but I hadn't seen it that way. Hopefully this week it'll rain. <laughs> That'd be good.